People are able to enjoy the beach today, which is nice, but it definitely looks different. Ian has left its mark with this erosion here in South Jacksonville Beach. You have these cliff like structures as if the sand dude just got cut off with a saw. And here I'm five foot one. This is at least two feet taller than me. So we're thinking at least seven feet of sand right here. It's going to take a lot of work to repair. It should recover pretty quickly, but but it'll be months, not not days. That's for sure. Terry Deloach has been surfing these seas for 50 years and it'll take a while to build up, but but they, they, they did the job. They did what they were supposed to do. That was exciting because we had some really high tides and yeah. you know, we protect the dunes so they can protect us when storms like Ian come around. The calm after the storm is disappointing for some. I was hoping there was going to be a little bit of swell. It said 1.5 at 10 seconds, but it doesn't really look like that. I think the uh, sandbars got messed up from the hurricane. So surfer Jeremiah Bowles is right. It's what's under the surface that matters right now. Captain Rob Ebenheiser with Jacksonville Beach Ocean Rescue says debris is in the water, steel, dock pilings and more. Underneath the surface, a threat of riptides due to shifting sandbars. Red flag conditions continue. What's wrong about the picture behind me? Well, in South Jacksonville Beach, we usually don't have lifeguard stance, so it appears that the storm brought them all the way down here or at least a mile from where they usually are near the pier. Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side.